It's a very simple system that we have here. It's just a cot and a facility for animals. If, uh, if their animals are with them, they can uh, tether them to the wall or they can put them in a cage. But it's a very simple facility. It's just so that people can sleep for the night on a bed with dignity under a roof and be warm. We've never seen an instance before where very quickly, on an emergency basis, we've been able to put together a facility where men, women, transgender, and accompanying animals can all be in the same space. It's an experiment, but we think it's one that's going to work partly because we're working with so many of our partners. We're working with the city, we're working with the Red Cross, we're working with the SPCA, we're working with all the major resources in the hospital system. So. We think it's going to work. For us at Welcome Hall Mission, we have 240 people every night in our emergency facility on St. Antoine. So uh, to have another 80 people isn't a huge thing for us, but nonetheless, the logistics behind mounting this operation were significant. And I think it's fair to say that this is a pretty major accomplishment for all of the teams involved. Today, it demonstrates that uh, we, take, we take the uh, homelessness situation very seriously, working with the government of Quebec, with the CIUS and all the uh, groups working on the field. We've been able to move forward quickly on creating this uh, emergency uh, unit. Today, it shows that we take this situation seriously. No one should be outside right now in the cold. Everybody deserves a roof. Merci beaucoup.